There are a number of different techniques you can use when you're wrestling up or when you're looking to ankle pick your partner. We're less concerned about the specific techniques. We're more concerned about the strategy and the tactics of getting your partner out of balance, out of position, so that you can get up. When we're looking to level change out of a seated position here, the first thing that we need to be able to understand is that at some point we're going to have to get our legs out of this central position. The legs are very useful here when we're looking to play inside or we're looking to put a leg on the inside position in case we want to enter into ashigurami or in case we want to be able to manipulate our partner's balance and hit sumigaishi. But when it comes to getting up or level changing, our legs really do have to be out to the side or underneath us. You could have a method where you take both legs away, or you could have a method where you take one leg away. They're both, they're both very good. And however, they're not very good if your partner doesn't move at all. Okay, and oftentimes when people are working and they understand the idea of coming up, so if you have one leg up here, they understand the idea of coming up, they also understand that they've got to get their legs out of the way. The trouble is that when they come up with someone who's bigger or stronger, who's settled in their base, all that happens is they run into a wall. They get up, they come here, and now from here it becomes a battle where he's stronger than me, his head, he's got a, a, a height advantage, he starts to snap me down here, and now I'm, I've come up out of my guard, I'm on my knees, but this is not the best position to be in. We can take care of all of that by combining this action of taking our legs away and coming up with a post to push our partner back and get them out of balance. So when we see a partner working here, we'll put a leg behind us. One thing that will make things a little bit easier when it comes to wrestling up or getting up out of the guard is to have a hand behind you. So you tuck your leg, you're gonna put a hand behind you. This is gonna give you some base in case your par partner is pushing forward. And then we're gonna use our lead hand, not at our partner's hand, but rather as a post in order to be able to drive his weight backwards. You can't stay here. You're not putting your hand on and continuing to push because it's too easy for your partner to use their outside hand here to clear your arm, and now you're in a worse position than you were. You can use this as a short post to get your partner out of balance just long enough to get your legs away from you and then come up. So that would look like this. Maybe we're tying up with our partner's hands. We're gonna put a hand behind us, create a little bit of an angle, tuck a leg. We're gonna get rid of this hand by driving our hand down. We're kind of like swiping our partner's hand away. And then I'm gonna use this as a post. This post puts his head and shoulders behind his hips. At the same time, my legs are coming out. Now from here, behind this post, we can rise. And very much like you would from a, a hitting a double leg from a standing position, you're going to release this grip, your partner's going to come forward, and you're going to go down underneath. Now we can gather up our partner's legs and start to tripod and walk around the court. So we're combining taking our legs away with a post, and then we're using that as the cue to come up. So first things first, hand and leg, little angle. Now, if our partner is still tying up with us here, we're going to clear it and we're going to hit a post. You can post hand flat on your partner's chest, although often your hand will slip off. For that reason, we'll go thumb down here in the armpit or we'll post just out here on the shoulder. You're looking to get your partner's shoulders back behind their hips. So it's a little bit aggressive, okay? I'm not just simply placing my hand here and pushing. I'm gonna, gonna give him a little bit of a shock by pushing him backwards here. And at the same time, my legs are gonna come out to the outside. As we come up, we're not going to come up straight into our partner, but a little bit of an angle. As he reacts by driving forward, we're going to lower our level here and bring our chin towards our partner's forehead. Elbow deep, get a grip, and now from here, we can walk around the corner. So if you can learn to be able to not just, not just think about wrestling up as a matter of coming up into a position where you're on your knees to wrestle your partner, but rather as one where you've got to first get your legs out of the way and then also create a kazushi or off-balancing reaction, you're going to find that your ability to come up and to wrestle up and to be able to get your partner down onto their back is going to be a little bit more effective. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.